you guys, down. thanks for coming down. We really appreciate it. And you course, know what this course. is all about. You've been around the last couple of years, so you've uh, seen it. But what is your feeling when you see a little seven-year-old kid going into the second grade? She turns around. She's, she's talking about she's going to meet Red Sox players. She turns around, and there are two of them right there. You're just regular guys, and yet you see it in spring training with these patients. What, what, is, what is it like when you see them just light up? Oh, man, to me it's like it's – it takes me back when I was a kid, and I used to look up to these guys like that, and you kind of were so excited to see them, and then once you saw them, you didn't know what to say to them. Right. And, I don't know, it's just, it kind of just flashes back to me. Like, it makes me feel like, damn, I remember when I was that age, and I was a little kid, and I was in that same situation. It just takes me back in that sense, and just kind of knowing that, for me, it's like, I don't know how things change so quickly. You know, you once, you know, I always looked at Major League Baseball as on a pedestal, and I always look up to like, oh my gosh, those guys, but we're all kind of the same, you know, we all kind of come from the same, in a sense, from being young, having dreams and aspirations to, you know, where we are now. So, I mean, obviously with her situation, you kind of, you know, you, you hurt for her and you kind of want to just do everything you possibly can for her. Um, but I don't know, it's one of those things where it's, it's kind of tough, but it's nice to see at the same time. I don't know. Who usually gets more excited, the kids or the adults? The parents. The parents. Uh, yeah, probably the parents. <laughs> Has there ever been a response from a, a kid or or an adult where you said, "Wow, that, I didn't see that one coming." Okay, so for the most part, you know, Red Sox player, you know, championship last year, very recognizable guys. I would say most kids would go nuts when they see you guys, or if they, if, if they have the opportunity to meet you, shake your hand. Is there ever if there, has there ever been a response where you're like, "Wow, I've never heard that before," or seen uh, that before? Hey, I want you to sign my. Uh... Well, 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 let's not go there. <laughs> no. But yeah, I guess it's the no. show. Um, Nothing. You probably no. seen it all then. I mean, we, we've you, you know you kind of hear a lot. You know, I think uh, in, you just kind of put things in perspective. Um, you know, our bad day is is, is not nearly what uh, what kind of what those kids, what these guys are going through, and you know, uh, you just have to try and do what you can to, to put a smile on their face and whatever they say, you know, you just roll with it. And, uh, you know, I mean, I think, uh, a lot of them, a lot of them actually just treat us like normal people. They just say, you know, can you sign this ball or, um, Hey, you know, listen to me play the guitar or, Hey, I can sing this, that, and the other. And see, that would be something that I thought would be unexpected. Yeah. Hey, here's my guitar. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. It's like a harmonica. I get it. It's in your back pocket. Guitar. You got that one before. <laughs> yeah. It's my piano. I just <laughs> yeah. happen to have it on my back. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but I mean, those type of things are, are you know, kind of great to great to see, just because they can um, be themselves and yeah. not be starstruck or anything. Yeah, you meant we mentioned putting things in perspective, and that's what these two days are. I mean, for us, we we leave here, you know, after a while, and you look back at your life, and and no matter what you go through, and this game is ups and downs, and trying to stay even keel, whether you lose eight straight in a stretch that you guys had, or or, or struggling at the plate. It's unfortunate, but sometimes you need things, you know, to kind of put things in perspective. I know you guys dealt with a lot in spring training as well. And it's, 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 it is amazing that, unfortunately, maybe we need sometimes the reminders of kind of what we have in our lives. Exactly, and that's, uh, that's kind of uh, what this is. You know, I, I hate to say, I don't, don't I hate to say, you know, that type of thing, but it's just a reminder, hey, you know, you, you guys' life is good. And so we have to keep that in mind and and do everything we can to make their their lives, you know, a good as well. And I think, uh, you know, the Red Sox and everybody, this whole foundation uh, does a great job in, in putting smiles on kids' faces for sure. It does seem like you you don't need that reminder though, because I know you do a lot. We do a lot, but I mean, you know, it's always it's always good to have it. Yeah. Let me ask you a baseball question, and um, I'm sure you've been asked this question a million times, but I'm wondering how much you guys talk about it. We talk every day during the course of the season. Why is this so different? than what we witnessed last year where everything, <laughs> right? You're already laughing at it, J.D., but everything just seemed to work out. I'm sure you guys spent a lot of time talking amongst yourself. Have you, have you been able to come to any, I mean, it's been a good week, but have you been able to come to any type of answer as to why this is so different? Oh, man, I don't know. Um, it's a different year. For me, yeah, it's just a different year. It's, you know, everybody always wants to go back, oh, it's the same team, we're supposed to have the same results. Like, last year was special. I've never – I always say this, like, when everybody asks me how it was and I go back home and stuff like that, I, and I never thought I would say this about baseball, but, like, I felt like last year was easy. Like, and that's the last word I would ever use for a baseball season. But – 
it just felt like everything kind of rolled our way. Every the ball always bounced. Someone always got a pinch hit, you know, home run. Any move uh, Alex would make would always work out. Yeah. You know, it just seemed like, I mean, you look at all the special moments that happened last year of guys throwing pinch hits, home run, pinch hit, home Brock, pinch hit, homer. Uh, Nunez in the World Series, pinch hit off wood, homer. Like, you know what I mean? It's just so special mm -hmm. moments. And, you know, that's, that's hard, to, it's hard to, to ride for two years in a row. Um, so, you know, it's a different year. And I think this team is a good team. And I think this team could be a special, you know. Uh, you never know. Like, you just never know. There's, we're, we're a little back now, but you never know. There's still a lot of baseball left. So you said it was easy this year, right? I mean, last, last year was last easy. Year, yeah. So is this year hard? And do you, as it gets difficult, what's the reaction? Because you're looking at going, man, last year everything just seemed to click. This today is a real tough day, and then you've got to deal with the next day and the next day after that, Mookie. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, they just I wouldn't say it's hard. It's just different challenges, and sometimes um, you just don't – you're not successful. I mean, sometimes we're not getting we're not getting that pinch hit, um, hit, you know, or we're not going up and putting up zeros or, you know, we're not playing defense at the right times. And so, I mean, it's not uh, – nothing that we – we can't do is just stuff that we just haven't put together and you know it's it's kind of tough um it's especially nice. with a target on your back i mean you know yeah. the, we're, the, we're the world champs and so um everybody that comes in is, is ready to play and you know if we're, if we're not one little one little mishap you know can uh turn into something huge and it just seems like we've had that mishap and it's turned into something big every time so alex core i think is famous he said it a few times guys consistently inconsistent i think he's used that phrase before yet every week we talk to him sometimes down here he is consistent. Every he comes in, you guys we lost eight straight. He comes in shaking hands. Hey guys, how you doing? That sort of Alex Cora is uh, is he consistent with you even from last year? Is it is it nice to have a manager that or is he the same? I should ask first, I guess, as last year. Or are you seeing a different manager? No, uh, he's the same guy. I mean, yeah. I mean, and what, how much does that mean to you that he's not riding the wave with you and kind of getting on you when it's not going well? It means a lot. I mean, I think he's a guy that played the game. He understands it. He understands that it's not the same. It's not. It's a different year. You know, like Mookie says, different challenges. Uh, and Alex understands that because he's been around for a while. And, you know, he knows that everyone's going out there and giving it their best and doing their everything they could possibly do to, for that game that day. And, you know, if it works out, awesome. And sometimes, you know, it doesn't work out. And But he's still the same person. You know, it's, um, you know, think about some of the issues. So, you know, I've been on teams where, you know, the offense was putting up a ton of points and the defense would go out there and, and they couldn't hold the lead or someone would give up an easy touchdown. And I remember there was every now and then there was some animosity and definitely frustration with the fact that as good as we were, we couldn't close out games because of one reason or another. Um, and with you guys, with as good as you guys are offensively, you know, there's always seems to be something, whether the bullpen can't keep the lead or defensive issue or whatever it is. Has there been any frustration or animosity or how, t how tough has it been for you guys just to, I mean, still back the guys on your team and still respect them and still pull for them, even though you're, you know, it's, it's, it's an uphill climb for you as it is now? Definitely no, anim no animosity. I mean, um, you know, it's, it's tough. I mean, it's not like they're, you know, we go out there and try and lose. You know, it's, it's, it's tough. I mean. Those guys get paid too, and so you know I have to just keep that in mind. Like they're they're going out and, and and trying to put up zeros, and we're going out and trying to score runs. Or you know we're we're going out and and trying to fill the ball and throw it to first or catch fly balls and whatnot. Just sometimes you know we're human. Sometimes we we don't do it, and it just seems like this year we haven't haven't done it a lot more than than last, and um, we haven't found ways to kind of bounce back. I think once uh once one thing happens, it kind of snowballs, and then. Uh, everything kind of falls apart yeah i mean i feel like you know there obviously no animosity frustration i would say yeah because you know we're all competitors and everybody wants to win but i don't think anyone else is blaming some other person or someone else uh you know everybody's going out there and doing their best it's not like guys are messing around and going out there and trying to you know not caring like i feel like everyone cares when you when you guys heard that Chris Sale was out for the season, I mean, is that just a, a kick to the gut, knowing that one of your best players is gone for the rest of the year? Uh, you know, it definitely hurts. Uh, it definitely hurts. <laughs> you know, <he's> just, <laughs> I mean, you know. it's just the only thing you can really think now is 
who's the next guy up. Yeah. I mean, we can't uh, can't sit here and harp on it. You know, we have to uh, kind of turn the page and, and move forward and hope everything's fine with, with him. And you know, he gets back uh, gets back out there to, to